So I just have the basic Monroe stock shock for this truck. Uh, this is technically the one, um, the one up brand, if you will, the one that's a little bit more expensive than the least, if that makes any sense. So they're a little bit better than the complete stock shock. Um, they say they're gas charged. They're just gas charged. They, they're not actually a gas shock. They do have liquid in there and you can verify that by shaking it. I can hear it, don't know if you can, but there's basically hydraulic fluid in here like a normal shock would operate for this year of truck. And then they added a little bit of nitrogen to the top of the hydraulic fluid to kind of make the shock a little bit more stiff, make the hydraulic fluid a little bit more dense, but they're still cushiony because I can still I can still move this all the way down if you can see that. And then it telescopes back up. So uh, I can move that down with one arm if you guys saw that. So therefore they're hydraulic. Um, so if you get something like that, they'll work and I'll let you know how well they work on my truck. Alright, to, so to save you guys the hassle, this is three quarters on both sides. The nut on the top is 9 sixteenths. Yeah. So I'm going to have to use a pipe wrench to hold the sleeve of the shock because it's moving. Broke it loose, that was pretty easy. Oh, I don't know if you can... There you go. So I'm gonna have to hold on the pipe wrench because the top of the... the top of the bolt up here is kind of corroded. Or like rusty and stuff, so... Hopefully the new nut they gave me is the same size. Probably not. So taking off the shock, got that nut on the top. You got this bushing with has a little metal washer. It's kind of attached to it, but we have a new one. And you have a bushing here, and that bolt there. That bolt there, you're going to reuse, so clean it up, reuse it. But for the shocks, they gave you this bushing here, which is for this one. This bushing here, which is for this one. They give you one washer to replace this washer that is attached, as you can see. 
which we don't need. This nut to replace this nut. And another washer to replace the washer right here. Because this one, no washer. So a washer. So it's going to be washer, a bushing, then it's going to go in the car, then it's going to be another bushing, then a washer, then a nut. Alright, so washer, bushing, if you can see that. a little bit of a pain oh, just a little bit all right so basically what I did it's kind of hard to see and I don't have any extra hands to hold the camera so anyway on the top put a bushing I mean sorry I put the washer kind of like looks like a bowl because it's going to be like kind of like the dish is like facing down. Anyway, so washer, bushing, bushing, washer, nut. Um, put that on first. So, because it's easier to lift the shock than to like pull it down trying to get it in the top. Um, so now it's in. I got to put the nut on. But that'll be good to go. And then I'll be ready for the next side. But then that the other side should be exactly the same. So that's pretty tight since it came off and it was pretty tight I want to tighten it back up to the about the same just because it is a suspension piece you don't want it loose because if that's loose and banging around it might might hurt something else all right where's my half inch or nine sixteenths so yeah again it's three quarters and then nine sixteenths at the top so since this isn't rusted because it's new, I can kind of just hold the sleeve while I ratchet the nut. So I'm just going to go until it's tight.
I'm just gonna throw the pipe wrench on it and give it one more snug. Try not to put a pipe wrench on it to scratch it, but I want it to I want it to be snug. All right. Next side. So here are my new ones for the front. Same exact ones for the back. Uh, same type and all that, just these are for the front. Uh, same hardware, I'll just be using all of that. And I think this is for if you want to put some sort of sleeve on here. I don't really care because the sleeves aren't going to be waterproof anyway. So same same process as, as taking it off. I'll show you the couple things that did different. So since there's limited room, what I did, since the, uh, the top bolt... The 916 is on the top. Uh, it will spin this sleeve. So I just put a screwdriver up through here and then kind of shove it in and then pry outward on that sleeve to get it to stop moving. And it works for me. And then wrench the, uh, you know, wrench your nut off. I didn't bring my tripod, so it's kind of hard for me to show you. How I'm doing this here is. Pretty sure this built-in one here, welded one here, is for like a sleeve or whatever. I'm not gonna have a sleeve, so I'm just gonna put a washer like that. Then your bushing. Then you're gonna put it in the truck. Then you have another bushing. Then another washer and a nut. Same exact thing as the rear. So what you can do here is just jack up the bottom of the shock with a piece of wood to get it to line up. So yeah, you can jack up the shock until you have it lined up. To keep the shaft from spinning, I just use a little adjustable. And then I grabbed, I just grabbed the top of it and then wrenched it down. <laughs> 